did he mention anything to you about your performance and just how you've been playing? Um, yeah, we just had a short exchange, but, you know, it was just, you know, something along the lines of, you know, good to see you, good to see each other and, you know, telling both, telling each other we both had, you know, great games. And, you know, at the end of the day, it was, it was cool to see him. Um, you know, I haven't seen him in forever. You know, we, we stay in touch from time to time. So, you know, it was really cool to, you know, see him and, you know, I said hi to his family as well. I think you might have mentioned this at some point last year, but uh, with all the success that you had, especially in 2019, how much did he have a hand in that, uh, kind of helping you once you became the starter? Um, I think, you know, he played a big role. He was very supportive, um, you know, always helping me and, you know, coaching me up if he ever saw something in the defense that I may have not seen. Um, so, you know, I, I give him, you know, a lot of credit. Uh, when we're talking about 2019, I think he did a great job of just being very supportive whenever I was in the game. And then lastly, uh, what was Dan saying to you after uh, that fifth touchdown you threw right before the end of the first half? Because it looked like he was trying to coach you up there on the sideline. Um, you know, I can't remember in particular, but uh, it's probably, you know, obviously as an offense, um, you know, you want to be, you strive for perfection and it was probably a play that I could have did something else or maybe I made the wrong read or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure uh, what was said but, in that moment. What does that just say about Dan that he, you know, you throw your fifth touchdown pass and he's like on you? Um, I love it, you know. You know, you can never be, uh, you know, too good. You can never be, you know, we strive for perfection, but, you know, it's really hard to get there. So, you know, even though that was after what my fifth touchdown, but, I mean, I love to have a coach that's just always striving for more and more and, you know, trying to get the most out of you, you know, just getting you to play to your full potential. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Sorry, good all. Hey, Kyle, tonight uh, you, you set hit SEC history with the most touchdown passes through six games. And the guys' records you broke were the first and fifth overall pick last year. I, I know you're an extremely selfless guy, but – even outside of games and outside of the moment, when you have big moments or records like that, do you take the time and kind of sit back and think, wow, this is kind of incredible? Uh, no, I mean, like, yeah, the stats are cool, but, you know, they don't always win games. So, you know, whatever is going to help us win games, that's all I'm focused on. You know, we want to, we're here to win a national championship. Um, that's the team's goal, just like a lot of other teams' goals to win a national championship. And to do that, you know, you have to do a great job at winning games. So that's all I'm focused on right now. Complete trust in my guys. Thank you, Kyle. David. David. You mentioned last week the disappointment in the second half performance versus Georgia. How was it to, to go out tonight and, and turn it around in the second half this week? Um, it was awesome, you know, just to, you know, what we want to do is just play one – one play at a time throughout the game. And, you know, I think we did a great job of just, you know, not worrying about the score or, you know, what the defense is doing, but just focusing on us and what we're doing while we're on the field and just taking it one play at a time, like I said. And I think that's why we did so good tonight. Thank you.